Welcome again to this video. Today we learn how to calculate voltage regulation in A11 kV line at the tail end. In this session, we will explore the voltage drop occurring along the line and compare the voltage at the tail end to that at the sending end. Before starting the calculations, let us first understand the power distribution system up to the consumer's end. As you are aware and shown in picture, power is generated at the generating station and then transferred to various consumer points through transmission lines, substations, and transformers. The 11 kV line originates from a 33 11th kV substation and supplies power to the consumers. This setup forms the basis of the power supply system. Over time, the 11 kV line faced several issues, leading to overloading and resulting in poor voltage regulation on the feeder. The primary factors contributing to poor voltage regulation include a continuous increase in consumers, which causes an increase in load, unplanned and unrestricted extension of the line, load unbalancing, failure to install additional distribution transformers at load center, and lack of conductor replacement despite these increasing demands. These factors collectively contribute to poor voltage regulation in any 11 kV feeder. Now, let's look at the voltage regulation formula. Remember this for future reference. Voltage regulation is equal to kVA kilometer divided by the product of 100 and load diversity factor and regulation constant. Here, we will explain each abbreviation one by one. Feel free to take a screenshot for better understanding and reference. Please note that the regulation constant depends on the current carrying capacity of the conductor and the length of the line. It is always measured per 100 kVA kilometer. In the next step, a table is provided. This table contains the values of conductor constants in kVA kilometer for different types of conductors at various voltage levels and a constant power factor at 0.8. For future reference, this table should be referred to when calculating voltage regulation. It is important to note that the regulation constant depends on the current carrying capacity of the conductor and the length of the line. It is always measured per 100 kVA kilometer. Here we have a single line diagram of 11 kV feeder connected transformer at different tapings. Having a load at different point of length. Pause this video and unnote all the load at different points. Now we calculate the voltage regulation at tail end on line that is, at point J. Pause the video and do the first step as I told in my previous video, link I given in I button. The first step is to simplify the given SLD. Hey engineers! Now we try to simplify the actual single line diagram into a more manageable single line diagram. This simplified diagram represents shorter tapping lines as point loads on the SLD. Remember, the tail end should be identified as the point farthest from the source. We add all load of each taping and make one point load as given in this diagram. Now, in step 1, we calculate the KVA kilometer from the single line diagram. And this we will calculate from tail end to source end. Let's calculate the total KVA kilometers step by step from tail end to source end. For segment JI, 100 multiplied by 1 equals 100. For segment IH, 288 multiplied by 2.5 equals 720. For segment HG, 413 multiplied by 2 equals 538. For segment GF, 601 multiplied by 2 equals 1202. For segment FE, 764 multiplied by 1 equals 764. For segment ED, 927 multiplied by 1 equals 927. For segment DC, 1115 multiplied by 0 0.5 equals 557.5. For segment CB, 1215 multiplied by 1.5 equals 1822.5. For segment BA, 1403 multiplied by 1.5 equals 2104.5. Finally, for segment AO, 1503 multiplied by 1 equals 1503. Adding all these values together gives a total KVA. Kilometer of 10,526.4.
Now, substituting these values into the voltage regulation formula as we discussed earlier. Finally, the calculated voltage regulation is 2.52%. In this video, we learned how to calculate voltage regulation in an 11 kV line at the tail end. Remember, engineers, whenever you calculate voltage regulation, it's crucial to do so at both the tail end and the proposed consumer point. In the next video, we learn how to determine voltage regulation in an LT line. If you found this information helpful, please leave a comment and suggest topics you'd like to learn about.